What do spiders do? Hey Jack, what are we drawing today? Spider. A spider, a black widow spider. We hope you get to follow along with us. Got a marker, some paper, and... Something to color with. Something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Now the black widow has a red mark on its belly. So we're gonna draw the underside of our spider so that we can draw that hourglass shape to make them look really scary. Let's start by drawing our Black Widow's head. We're first gonna draw a little V in the middle of our paper up here, right in the middle, but a little towards the top so that we have room for his whole body. Nice. Now we're gonna draw the top part of his head. We're just gonna draw a little upside down U like that. Then they have these little pincher things at the front. I'm not sure what they're called. And we're just gonna draw smaller upside down U's. Yeah, good job. Then we're gonna draw his abdomen, and it's a big circle. We're gonna draw it right here below his head, so we're gonna leave a little gap, and then we're gonna draw big circle. Yeah, your spider's gonna be huge, I like it. Now we're gonna draw all of his legs that connect underneath the middle part of his body. So we're gonna draw little ovals. We're first gonna draw one right next to his head, and we're actually gonna do this on both sides. And we want them to be really close to touching in the middle, but we want to leave a gap. So how many legs does the spider have? Eight. Eight. So on each side, we're going to draw four. four. Yeah, four. So let's draw another one. We're going to draw them really close to the bottom of his body. So we're going to draw another one that sticks out like this, and then one on the other side. Yeah, and then we could draw two more on each side, and we're just gonna squeeze them in like that. We're gonna draw two on the other side also. Oh, that already makes them look disgusting when you draw the underside of a spider. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Next, we're gonna draw the top legs, the top two legs. So we're gonna draw really long segments on each leg. So we're gonna draw a big long U that comes out on each side. We're gonna, re we're gonna always repeat the same step on both sides. So now we're gonna draw a longer segment that comes up, and look how we're bending it so it's going up. I drew this one a little thicker, so I'm gonna draw the next one thin. Now this one's gonna be really long. We're gonna draw it really long and really thin. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And I think we could also get another one on there just for his little feet. Nice. <laughs> Next, let's draw the two bottom legs. We're gonna draw more U-shapes, but this time we're gonna aim them coming down. We're gonna do the same thing over here. We want them to be the same length. Then we're gonna draw the next one, next segment, and we're also bending that one down even more. You'll, then we can draw that next really long, thin one, same, same thing that we, drew up at the top, and then one last one for his little feet, very bottom. All right, cool. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's getting grosser every, yeah, I know. Time, every time we add another leg. <laughs> now let's draw the middle ones. Now this one we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a little shorter, okay? And we can do the same thing on the left side, a little shorter, and these are gonna come out to the side and then bend up. Oh, I, I think spiders are fun to draw though because yeah. they're super simple shapes, but when you put them all together, it looks amazing. Now we're gonna draw a longer, thinner segment. And then one last little one for his feet. Toes. Toes. One big toe. <laughs> one disgusting spider toe. All right, now we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna draw the next two legs. And this one we're gonna do a little bit different. We're gonna bend the first one down First segment goes down, then the next segment we're gonna bend out to the side. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna draw that long, skinny leg, and I'm gonna aim it up. Then we could add the little foot on each side, aimed up. 
All right, Jack, this is a female Black Widow spider, so what are we missing? The red mark. Yeah, the red hourglass mark on her belly. So we're gonna start by drawing two lines. We're gonna draw them like this. We're gonna draw one on the top and one down below. Then we're gonna connect the two lines with a sideways V shape on each side so it looks like an hourglass. These really are scary if you yeah. see these in the wild or in your backyard in a sprinkler box, which we did. Yep. It was super scary. Open up the sprinkler box and it was and just like was, right there just like waiting for us. It was huge too. It like, was massive. Poof. Yeah. <laughs> that big. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Black Widow spider. She looks awesome, except we still need to do what? Color her. Yeah, she's going to look so much better once we color her. And we got we to gotta color her belly red and we're also going to make her look shiny. So we're going to have little highlights on each of her segments. This part we're gonna fast forward, but you can pause it at the end to match the same color. As soon as you see that, it makes it look really scary. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing that we did is we actually used our black colored pencil because it's sharper than our Sharpie to make the legs a little pointier. So we made them longer and a lot pointier, and that made her look even cooler. We hope you have fun drawing your Black Widows. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your spiders with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.